What is going on guys, welcome to the Mark Flyer and welcome to another tutorial here in the uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 with me. Today we are going to do a visual circuit and landing here in the Airbus 320 in the Microsoft Flight Simulator. And as usual, I will be using a guide from the Airbus FCOM uh, for the visual approach procedure. This one is for your reference as well and should not be used in any real life flying uh, scenario. So with that being said, today we are going to do a circuit and landing here in uh, Rame 09 at uh, Taiwan Kaohsiung International Airport. And just for info, Kaohsiung Airport is located at the very southern side of Taiwan Island. And uh, it has a single runway as you can see here, we have Rame 09 and Rame 27, the reciprocal runway. And today we will be doing a right hand circuit here in the Rame 09 Kaohsiung Airport. Let's proceed to the visual approach procedure in the Airbus FCOM. So before we start our flight simulator session today, we're just going to have a quick look on the visual approach procedure here. This one is the uh, it's only an approach part. However, for the takeoff part, is it is going to be a normal takeoff as usual. And then once we uh, reaching our acceleration altitude, which I will be setting around 800 feet above aerodrome level for today, and then we will commence our uh, right turn onto the downwind. So before joining downwind, what we're going to do is we are going to go through the uh, after takeoff climb checklist. Then after that, followed by our approach checklist before we establish on the downwind track. So once we establish our downwind track, we are going to um, activate our approach phase and then manage our speed. Select your go around altitude. Thereafter, I'm going to maintain a flaps one for configuration for our initial part of the downwind as for today, so that we don't go too fast for the. Uh, circuit and then next thing you're going to look up is once you are above the threshold you're going to start your uh, timer or the chrono inside the Airbus 320 and here is a thumb rule 3 seconds per 100 feet since we are going to uh, do our circuit at 1500 feet above our aerodrome level here in the uh, Kaohsiung airport so we are going to expect uh, we have to wait for 45 seconds before we can commence our base turn. Of course, as you can see here, we have plus minus one second per one knot of wind component. So this one, the wind component that they are referring to is your downwind component. So you can either have a headwind or you can have a tailwind or crosswind. So you have to uh, calculate and do your correction. So example, let's say today we have a, a two knots of a headwind for our downwind segment. So what we're going to do is we are going to plus 2 seconds into our uh, 45 seconds as calculated earlier on. So making it 47 seconds before we can commence our uh, base turn into runway 09. And uh, before turning base, make sure you are configured at flaps 2. Since we are going to turn at 47 seconds, so allow me to config into uh, configuration flaps 2. 10 seconds before our turn, which will be 37 seconds. This one is just a guideline for you and then once you commence your turn after 47 seconds when flaps 2 then you can expect a, a bank angle around 20, 15 to 20 degree and then you may continue with the landing gear down flaps 3 and flaps 2 and landing checklist and then of course arm your spoilers so by 500 feet later above aerodrome level, aircraft must be stabilized. And this is a, a criteria for the visual approach. It must be stabilized by 500 feet above aerodrome level, the latest. Of course, by stabilized, it means that your speed is at your uh, approach speed. And then you have your uh, aircraft fully config. Your landing chart is done. And then aircraft is on. Acceptable margin of profile. Then after, you may continue and proceed to land. So this one is just basically a procedure for the visual approach in a nutshell for you. So what we're going to do now is we're going to give it a try on the real flight in the simulator. So now we are inside the uh, flight simulator and uh, with our aircraft on the runway now, fully set up and ready to go. And then go into the cockpit, we can see. Uh, so we are going to just quickly go through on the setup here in the Airbus 20 So of course, we start from the flight management system. I have set it to just a quick one from Kaohsiung to Kaohsiung and cost index just put 45 and flight level. Of course we are 
not going to use flight label I just put 1500 feet and then for our departure I set it to uh, runway 09 north seat and then insert and for the arrival since we are going to do a visual approach so supposedly you are going to uh, set it just the runway number for the arrival but I don't think it's inside the database here so anyway I'm just going to set it to iOS 09 this one is just for our reference and then uh, performance pairs speed I've set up as well and then uh, thrust reduction acceleration altitude set to 800 feet above the aerodrome level elevation for calcium again is 32 feet let's set it to 830 feet and another thing you are going to set since this one we are going to do a very really quick uh, circuit and landing so approach phase you can go on the next page all the way until approach phase there you can insert your QNH uh, temperature and then your wind and minimum descent altitude I'm just going to set it to 550 feet at least you have an idea uh, whether the aircraft can continue approach with visual and fully stabilized and yeah that is the setup for the uh, flight management system and go to your MCU you have to make sure your QNH is set correctly on QNH 1013 and then speed manage heading I'm just going to set it to the runway heading which is 096 this our as you can see here 096 and then 1005 will be our circuit altitude plate and then it is advisable if you are doing a circuit and ending or the uh, visual approach you can set your navigation display into map 1 and then you have your VR set also for both the captain and the first officer side so as you can see our aircraft uh, takeoff config has been pressed so aircraft is ready for takeoff and we have set all the lights as well over here and before I forgot just for your info today for the visual approach we are going to use a feature called the Track flight path angle, or also known as the bird inside the uh, Airbus terminology. So basically, what it means is that initially we are going to use on the heading word speed, which is we are going to follow the flight director here once airborne until we are established on the downwind, as I mentioned earlier on. According to the Airbus procedure, we are going to turn off the autopilot and the flight director as well. Then we will switch to track flight path angle. This one it means that the aircraft is going to follow on the downwind track that you have set and then your runway track as well as you turn it into final letter so we'll demo it later on so with that being said we are fully set up for the takeoff so just a recap we are going to do a Kaohsiung airport runway 09 right hand downwind circuit today and then we can expect slight tailwind for our departure and arrival later so it will become a headwind on our downwind segment Alright, without further ado, let's begin our takeoff row and assume our clearance for the takeoff is granted. Just gonna increase the uh, our primary flight display over here so that you can have a better view. So parking brake release and push your side stick foot down since we are doing a tailwind uh, takeoff. And apply thrust to 50 percent. SRS runway, auto trust blue, trust set. So between 80 to 100 knots, you may neutralize your side stick. 100 knots. V1, rotate. Positive line, gear up. So we're heading, showing on the FMA. Let's follow the uh, FT initially. It's getting a bit of sensitive here. The FT. FT work line. Speed. The trust. Then you don't want to go too fast. So just pull up our speed. Reduce a bit. Let's make it to 185 knots. Right, 185 knots selected on the speed. And then 1005 slowly coming in. That's good. I'm just gonna turn on our autopilot for a while. So upstar and autopilot 2. And we can commence our right turn to heading of uh, 276, which is the reciprocal. 
uh, heading for our runway as well as the uh, heading for our downwind. Right, we have heading 276 being set on the uh, FCU and once established on the downwind, we are going to change our uh, heading wheel speed into track and flight path angle. So we have upgrades on the FMA and we may proceed with the after takeoff flight checklist, landing gear up flaps, flaps 1 plus F and X on, barrel reference QH 1013 is being set. And after takeoff flight checklist completed, so in the meantime, what we're going to do is we're going to activate our approach phase. So approach phase is activated and what, what this means is that basically you can manage your speed and you may configure your aircraft accordingly so that the speed will go down as required. Alright, we are established on a downwind now and you may call for before we disengage our autopilot, you may call for the approach checklist, briefing confirm it can status check seatbelt on barrel reference QH1013 and our minimum is a 550 set which is is completed so we have run our runway on our right side and I'm just gonna turn it to track and flight path angle and disconnect the autopilot and turn off the flight director as well So now we have our bird here and then aircraft is maintaining straight and level. So next thing to do is to have a lookout on the uh, our runway threshold for runway 09. Once it's a beam, then we will start our prono. Alright, it seems to a beam our aircraft now for the runway threshold. So just start our prono. And as I mentioned earlier on, uh, for the downwind segment, we have a headwind of approximately 2 knots. So we are going to turn and 47 seconds. By 37 second configuration to flaps 2. It's 37 second now, flaps 2, speed check, flaps 2. So, next thing to look out for is 47 second. Alright, 47 second, you may commence the turn now. Bank angle 15 to 20 degree and a shallow descent around 300 to 400 feet per minute. Call for gear down. Don't forget to set to your runway track of 096. Flap three. Flap three. So during this base turn, you should have a look out on your runway. Another tips will be having your navigation display as a guidance so that you can approximately know where is your runway. Right, 1000, we call for landing checklist, cabin crew, advice, auto trust, speed, auto brake, low, ECAM memo, shoot, ECAM, landing notebook, landing checklist, completed. So now just keep an eye on your runway. We should be closing it and we have four red so just adjust on your rate of descent shallow our rate of descent a bit under above under above check so as you can see the blue index line that is the our runway track as set earlier on just maintain straight and level for a while so what you're going to do is you're going to bring the tail of the bird to align with the blue line so that aircraft is on the runway track.
to red to white so bring the tail of your bird to align with the horizon minimum minimum continue you should able to get a perfectly three degree slope on your approach slight adjustment to the left This is how you do a simple circuit and landing here in the Airbus 320. And that's all for today. If you have any suggestion on the upcoming videos or the current videos, leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of the circuit and landing inside the Airbus 320. And I shall see you guys in the upcoming videos very soon.